Right now in surgery, there's no good way of practicing your hand dexterity using forceps, for example. You know, the first time you go into the OR, you're going to hold them in your hands and then have to pick up very fine tissue. And uh, you don't want it to feel foreign in your hands. So one of the exercises that we came up with is this concept of a rice transfer board. You want to use something that's very small and irregular in shape, so it forces you to really get your wrists and fingers comfortable uh, in picking up these, uh, these objects. And also another thing that's really useful about these exercises and drills is that you can focus on your non-dominant hand. Uh, we'll go into this topic more in the future, but you don't appreciate how much you're hiding your non-dominant hand or how many deficits exist until you really isolate them in practice. So what it forces you to do with simple exercises like this is to use your left or non-dominant hand and really make sure that it performs at the same level as your dominant hand. So the basic process of the uh, rice transfer exercise is like such. Uh, you have 12 or so grains at the center of the board. You see the outlines of what looks like a face of a clock. And you want to transfer these pieces to the corresponding spots. So you can start anywhere you want on the clock and begin to transfer them. You can see that the different positions of the dial really forces you to adjust your wrist position and angles accordingly. And you have to be careful to pick up these pieces of rice in the way that they're laying down because otherwise they would pop out of your forceps. Of course, you can repeat the same exercise using your left hand or non-dominant hand. So in this scenario, get more comfortable picking up fine things using your non-dominant hand, which realistically is the hand that you're using to hold the forceps most often in the OR.